the first day we worked with Nick to learn kind of an overview about maker spaces, the movement, and then the Tinkercad program, and then they started their design. And the second day, which we just had, they kind of finalized, tweak their design, and then um, next class we're going to go to the maker space and they'll actually do the printing and then hopefully get a virtual reality experience um, for an educational program. I think they're going to do some sort of three-dimensional painting. So there's this whole movement I didn't know about, um, about letting kids tinker and play. Um, and it's kind of like that sandbox thing, you know? That's, it's a pretty old concept, just letting kids loose. But now it's like, well, you can provide some more high-tech gear. And it doesn't even have to be high-tech. Um, but the idea of playing and exploring and getting kids to find out what kind of purpose drives them or what they might bring in from the real world and import into the classroom. You know, when I was in elementary school, we were working with paint and clay and uh, and these students are going to be working with 3D printing and, and with virtual reality and things like that. So I've just been trying to find ways of taking the same lessons that I learned as a kid and finding new ways of, of incorporating that with all these new tools. It creates opportunities for really exciting like project-based learning. And I think that sets up a very powerful classroom environment because you, uh, you start to tap into your students' sort of like intrinsic motivations. And when you're doing that, like so the learning takes care of itself. Yeah, I think it's great, especially like with the, vi the virtual reality part, is students get to go to places that they wouldn't typically see. And because kids like to play video games and stuff, it's really nice for them to be able to actually like feel like they are a part of the game, where they can physically try to touch things that they typically wouldn't be able to. Especially with the um, 3D printing too, just to be able to put your vision into something that you can hold in your hand and touch and play with. It's just a really rewarding experience versus it being something that you can't really um, quantify. Now it's actually something that's physical that you can be like, I did this, I made this with my own two hands. Um, I've been thinking a lot about practical application. Um, tools are new to me, but it's fairly obvious that this is the way that things are going to be going. These are the tools that are going to be available to our students as they get older um, and so trying to find ways that I can become more adept at using them um, and so it's just kind of opening up the, yeah, the free range of creativity. I'm just really excited to, to see what this place has to offer. Awesome.